It's week nine of the NFL on EA Sports. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. Throwing on first down. Banks. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down. Banks. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. To throw on second down. Banks. Oh, well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Denzel Perryman. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. He had the opening drive interception. Now he'll try to fix things here on drive number two. And speaking of the number two, remember, he also had two interceptions in last week's ball game as well. First and ten here. Rolling to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. Banks. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Dancing to his left. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 yards. Here's third and a few inches. Looking to throw. Banks. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Texans will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Their quarterback leading this offense back out, and he's had a hard time. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. His throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten. Throwing again. Banks. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Flush to his right. Toward the sideline, and he locates Gage. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. Back to throw. Banks. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Looking to throw. Banks. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. Well, they've already allowed three sacks in this first half. Now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way was not working. He was getting hit almost every snap, it felt like. They had to 
try and keep him upright. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. They work now on second and nine. Running out of the gun with White. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw. Banks. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Texans are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. Throwing to start the drive. Banks eluding the pressure right. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Being chased out left. He can't get him down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First carry now for Keyshawn Vaughn. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Off play action. Banks. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Sheldon Rankins abruptly ends that play with a set. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Now their dreams of an undefeated season shattered with the loss a week ago. Now look, whenever an undefeated team goes down, you always hear some say, well, they needed that. I don't know, Charles, is that a narrative that you buy into? Well, I haven't met a coach yet that feels like they needed that loss. You know, that's not something that they're in favor of. But I do know this. People like us, our colleagues, all of us in the media, constantly hammering a team that's undefeated. Hey, do you think you can do it the whole season? Can you carry it the whole way? That does wear down a group. And sometimes that loss, get us off your back, you can move forward from there. Off the play fake. Banks. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Off play action. Banks. It's caught. This is White. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. Up the middle, it's Vaughn. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. From just shy of midfield, here's second down and five. Staying on the ground with Vaughn. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. The Bucs on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time it's third and three. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 26. Looking to throw. Banks. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. On the draw, it's Vaughn. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. They'll set up the screen to Vaughn. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down.
go play action here on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Second down and a yard. Back to throw. Banks. It's grabbed over the middle by White. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. Looking to throw. Banks. Another catch by White. Back-to-back -back plays. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Clock running. The Bucs try to go quickly and get set. First down, here's White. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Looking to throw on second down. Banks. That is incomplete. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Back to throw. Banks steps away to his left. That is caught. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 26. Looking to throw. Banks. And nearly another interception. Well, it would have been his third of the game, but this time he couldn't hang on. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Back to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. And down inside the 15 he goes. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to throw. Banks looking left side and he's got a man. That's Vaughn. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now second and nine. Looking to throw. Banks. He'll get this to Vaughn underneath. And the Buccaneers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13-6. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first and ten. Thanks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Second and nine. Off the play fake. Banks. This is caught by Evans. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 28. Here's a quick pass. He's got Chris Godwin. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That is caught at the seven. 
And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. It's the fullback. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bucs are back. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Throwing to start the drive. Banks. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now this throw caught left side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Throwing on first down. Banks. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 26. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On third down, Banks buying time to his left. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And quickly, they get to the line. Vaughn on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Back to throw. Banks. Flushed out right. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bucs are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. The drive starts with a run by White. The Sheldon Rankins, former Saint and Jet, there on the stop. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They run straight ahead here with White. 
41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Here comes third in the length of the football. Looking to throw. Banks flush to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Will Anderson in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They start to drive with White. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. And this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll go up the middle with White. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Forced out to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They will run with White out of the shotgun. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Again, a run with Vaughn. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Running behind center with Vaughn. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. From the gun on third down. Banks, he's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Bucks first down. All smiles on that sideline. That should be the one to do it. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. This one swung out to Vaughn. A good display of power, but ultimately it gets him just inside the five to the four and no further. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he's in. Well, they 
came so close, Charles. They were knocking on the door in a one-possession game, but ultimately the defense held tough to get the Today, from Rain... So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. down thanks and his first look is incomplete you talk about this titan defense they sit at number 20 in the nfl right now against the run and when people talk about facing a challenge they are certainly getting one in this ball game because they are facing the number one rushing unit in the nfl which means it's going to be a contest they've got to be prepared for from the first snap and yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Operating from the gun. Banks, he's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Again, he'll drop to throw. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The Bucs at 7-1 now on the year. And they've been cooking these last couple months. Winners is seven of their last eight games. And as much as we hate to play this game, you know I'm going to do it anyway. Extrapolate that over a full season. What does that come out to, partner? 14-2. and two. And anyone in the NFL, they'd sign up for that record, that's for sure. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. And a catch right side by Evans. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 39. They run for the first time here with Rashad White. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. The numbers for White a week ago, 16 carries, 56 yards. As always, priority number one for them is to secure the win this week. But priority number two, this guy right now who is sixth in the league in rushing. They want to give him that push to get him into the top five and really earn their status of being one of the best ground games in the NFL, as well as him being one of the lead backs, too. Breaks a tackle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll run for the first time with Keyshawn Vaughn. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Keyshawn Vaughn. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Buccaneers are on the board first here this 
Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. Just the one misstep for them in the first half of the season. 7-1 is the record at the midway point. And in terms of whatever power rankings you want to go by, they're at or near the top of the list in terms of best teams in the National Football League. And for me and my little bit of rankings here, I've got them at the top. I know there's still two months to go, and we've seen teams get off the hot starts and then fade away due to injuries or the schedule or whatever. But unless there are a rash of injuries on this team, I'd be surprised if they aren't a first or a second seed come playoff time. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. On the handoff, this is White. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Off the bootleg, Banks. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Back to throw. Banks, and that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Looking to throw, Banks. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone, touchdown, Tampa Bay. Cade Otten, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bucs are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Start the drive with a give to White. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Steps away. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. Banks escaping the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Operating from the gun. Banks. Otten brings it in over the middle. And this offense on third down today, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Dance into his left. Throw left side complete. That's Evans. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Now a give up the middle. This is White, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. To throw on third down. Banks. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage.
Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. On the draw, it's White. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Off play action, Banks. Throw right side, take it in by Godwin. And Godwin going to have a box first down as he'll get this across the 50 to the 49. Now here's a throw that's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. On the give, it's White to the 36-yard line, stop there. Ball on the 36 now, here's a second and seven. Opting to run again here with White. And he is gonna get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 30. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard, being chased out left. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the seven. Looking to throw. Banks. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. To throw on second down. Banks. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Cade Otten with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Buccaneers are able to extend their lead. He threw the touchdown pass on that last drive, his 20th on the year. They'll begin on the ground here with Vaughn. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Steps away to his left. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. And cue the applause, and there it is for him. The mark he's been aiming for all season long. 1,000 yards. Just the third quarterback to reach that milestone, joining Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. That's a season's worth of work and a huge commitment to get him the touches that he needed to make that happen. Congratulations. On first and ten, Banks. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. This second and four. Back to throw. Banks flushed out right. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. And they're going to speed things up here. On second down, they'll run with White. And room there to work it inside the 25. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Buying time to his left. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Running out of the gun with White. And the tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Ball at the 9 on second and 8. And a quick throw here, that's complete. That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Rashad White 
a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Buccaneers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Now a throw here, hauled in. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the gun on third down. Banks flush to his right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And now they're in the hurry up. Throwing on first down. Banks firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Now a second and 10. Looking to throw. Banks out route, and the ball is caught by Godwin. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 29-yard line. Well, that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Open man, it's Palmer. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And his guys now at X. The Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And the offense moving quickly to the line. First down, here's White. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Off the bootleg. Banks. He finds his man. That's hot in the tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 40. On a handoff, it's White. Brought down on the play by Amani Hooker. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. On third and two, Banks. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Vaughn. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Operating from the gun. Banks. And that's going to be incomplete. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. On third down, it's Vaughn. 
Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Good job, good job. Pretty effective blitz there to stop the draw play right in its tracks. And actually, when they blitz... And Tampa Bay trots out there now. The drive starts with a run by White. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. Oh, going to run the jet sweep on third down. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. Throwing to start the drive. Banks forced out to his left. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first down, Banks looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. From the 46, here's second and nine. Back to throw. Banks, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. He'll buy some time right. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. So out come the Bucks now. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's third and three. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he is going to have a Bucks first down. All smiles on that sideline. That should be the one to do it. They stay on the ground with White. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points,